Shalom Divine. How are you guys doing today? I hope your spirits find you well. Thank you for joining me on this transformational journey. My name is KB. And by the title, you guys already know what I want to talk about, right? I want to talk about reincarnation. Yes. So excited about that topic. I love that topic. I love um, just... Huh, the soul, you know, the soul. So I'll start off by saying this. I know there are probably some Christians. And just to know, you guys, just know this is not a Christian channel. It's not a political channel. It's just my journey. And I am not religious. So um, I just want to get that out of the way. And when we talk about, when I talk about this topic, I just want to let you know my journey is not up for debate. It's not up for discussion. But the topic is. Now, so if anybody, you know, you feel free to talk amongst yourselves just in case there's some Christians that wanted to talk about reincarnation and, you know, but I understand that you don't believe in reincarnation and I understand the reason behind it. I will tell you that they took reincarnation out of the Bible due to the fact that they did not want anyone to question Jesus. If you knew about reincarnation, it would take you down the rabbit hole and you would start to understand that you were a spiritual being having a human experience, that you were magical, that this whole, your whole existence was actually a lie. You know, everything that you was taught was a lie. So, you know, it would take you down the rabbit hole if you understood about reincarnation. And this is why they didn't want you to. They didn't want you to question Jesus. Jesus, in the Bible, it states that you are made in his image. But it's so contradicting because if you're made in his image, that means that you're able to do the same things he's able to do. To a degree, right? Uh, let's just say, well, we'll just say to a degree. But you are truly made to do what he's able to do. But let's just say, hypothetically speaking, you're made in his image. But yet they say they don't want you to know about reincarnation because they don't want you to question him. They don't want you to think that you have the capability to do magistical things. That's why they did that. It's crazy and it gets so deep, but I don't I don't want to go that route. But I just want you to know that it was in the Bible and it was taken out for a good reason. And anybody who went against it. Anybody who started to believe in reincarnation, it took them back to their spiritual roots and they were murdered. They were beaten. Then they stopped murdering and beating. But I want to tell you this also. Everyone around the world, except for the Western world, America, didn't believe in reincarnation. And you know that if anybody is conscious, you know why religion was developed, why religion was created, was to divide and conquer. So you wouldn't be able to understand your spiritual roots. You wouldn't be able to understand indigenous spirituality, which is where Christianity stems from, where it, where it, it derived from, right? But everyone around the world, all indigenous beings practice indigenous spirituality. And they believed in reincarnation. Look at Egypt. In Egypt, you know that they worshiped death. They loved death. And the reason why is because they knew that they can reincarnate into another body and take their treasures with them. That's why they buried themselves in gold and riches and all that stuff. But most of them knew that they didn't have to come back if they didn't want to. Or if they did come back, they came back with their same riches and different families, but they've got their inheritance. It's crazy, but it's true. It's being done now, and I don't want to go down that, that rabbit hole because it just goes deeper. But anyhow, um, the Cabal is doing the same thing the Egyptians is doing, guys. They're, they're practicing dark, dark dark magic reincarnating this is why these people are so greedy i always used to think like why would somebody want to hoard all that money is because they're practicing dark magic they if they have souls some of them can reincarnate back into powerful powerful wealthy families 
It's their money. They just passed it on to a grandchild and then they reincarnate into another being. So I don't know, I didn't mention this, but reincarnation has been done for millions and millions of years, right? Ever since we were humans created on this planet, we've been reincarnating. Meaning that when this body dies, the soul lives on. That's why there's no such thing as death. No such thing as death. The soul is immortal. It's eternal. It goes into another body. It reincarnates into another body. The reason why is because the soul has lessons to learn, you know? And it's stated that, not stated, it is true. Once you have, because that's where we're at right now, that's where, you know, I am. And then most of you are there too, if you're on the spiritual journey and you understand the spiritual path. But the reason why the soul reincarnates is because it has lessons to learn, right? And it comes back over and over again until it's finally learned its lessons. But remember, they call this a prison planet, and they don't call it a prison planet for no reason. The prison planet keeps the soul in prison. It traps the soul here. The dark cabal did it on purpose. But now, has this is the first time in ever in history, have we been able to, the veil has been lifted, the seal has been broken, Everyone who is on their spiritual path, their spiritual journey, they initiate, learn their lessons, initiate, learn the lesson, initiate, learn their lesson, and it's called the ascension, and you're able to ascend out of here for the first time ever, your soul is going to be free, never having to reincarnate over and over again, because remember, the reason why they call it a prison planet is because the soul, once the body dies, Say, for instance, the soul learned all their lessons. The body dies. The soul doesn't have to come back and reincarnate into another body. The soul has an opportunity to get out. But the dark cabal fixed it to where the soul could not get out. The soul had to come back over and over again, even though the soul had learned all of its lessons. It had to reincarnate into different bodies over and over and over again. Hence, it being the prison planet but now is the time to get on your spiritual path just wanted to put this in there get on your spiritual path and get the fuck up out of here nobody wants to be here in this hell hole this is hell pretty soon you're going to have a blissful life still on your spiritual journey but once that time is up and you've learned all your lessons you're ready to go there's there's other things to experience out there other than this human form so many other things to experience out there. That's why there's no such thing as death. And, and spiritualists know they don't fear death. Nobody fears death. Right? But we are, and here's another thing. When you reincarnate, you reincarnate into, like say for instance, hypothetically speaking, this body is, his body died. And my soul goes into the spiritual realm to figure it all out. I didn't learn all my lessons in this body. So the soul is going to pick another body, another family to reincarnate in. It's a soul family that it's going to reincarnate in. So up there, we're going to figure out all of the things like who my father is going to be, who my brother is going to be, who my sister is going to be, who I'm going to marry. And then up there also, we're going to figure out what lessons are we going to learn? What lessons are we going to teach me? What lessons am I going to learn from my father? What lessons am I going to learn from my brother, my husband? You know, and we get down here and we play it all out. And this is why understanding reincarnation makes this human experience so much easier. My dad was come down here to teach me uh, patience because he got on my damn nerves. And I couldn't understand why until I figured it all out. I was like, oh, he is here to teach me patience. Because he tries my patience every time he's around me. But now I don't get angry anymore or pull out my hair. I understand that that's something that I need to work on. Because as a soul, we agreed to reincarnate, come down here to teach each other's lessons. And one of his was, that was one of my dad's lessons for me. 
But I tell you, once you understand reincarnation, your life becomes much easier. And it's a game that we're playing. And just understanding the gist of it helps your life tremendously. So my soul picks a body to reincarnate into, picks a soul family to reincarnate into. Remember, you reincarnate into a male, a female, a Mexican, a white, a black, Lati you know, uh, Latino. I was a uh, Latino in another past life. And I never understood why I was so fascinated with the Latino culture. I love their culture. Crazy about dance, music, everything. I embodied it and I'm like, why? <laughs> my sister say my sister always used to call me a little Mexican. And I'm like, why? <laughs> but I didn't understand where it was coming from. I never grew up around Latinos. I never I, I didn't understand where it was coming from. But in a past life, that's what I was. And that's why I embrace it. But um, also, I, I already mentioned that everybody around the world, indigenous uh, people, understood spirituality. And um, scientists knew the truth about spirituality. But religion wanted to shut the scientists up and and demonize the scientists for believing in it. I remember my father said, oh, scientists are nothing but demons. I was like, well, why would he say something like that? Because he was led to believe that through Christianity, that scientists were demons. They were coming up with, there is no God and all that stuff. There's source, there's almighty source. But um, yeah, so just know that, let me, you know what? Let me go back to this point. When I reincarnated, hypothetically speaking, let's go back to that point, reincarnated into a family, I can be any of those colors. And I wanted to mention that the trick is on us, right? Your soul can reincarnate into any being, white, black, Mexican, Asian. The joke is on you. The joke is on us. There's only one race, the human race. And this is why it's a, it, it, it's a big joke. It's a, a huge joke that we need to laugh at because we are all one, all part of Almighty Source. My little bitty soul, your little bitty soul combined is just a part of Source. Source being the whole, we're being fragments of Source called souls. That's why we're all one. And to experience all one, if you guys know, if anybody out there has experienced the all one, I experience it all the time. And I have a connection that is unbelievable to individuals that are here. And I feel that we are connected because we are all one. But the experience that we have together makes me know that we are all one. And like with reincarnation, when you go to study it, you have to study it, research it, but also it's a knowing. Expanding your consciousness is going to allow you to know and to remember your dreams. Like if you ever come into a room, you can see that there's a whole bunch of strangers, but you feel comfortable. You feel as if you've known these people all your life once you get to talk to them, right? Or you could talk to somebody on the phone, feel as if you guys have been friends forever. Or you can embrace someone and just feel so love. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a it's a it's a feeling. And then it's in your dreams. Your dreams are very important. They will tell your past lives. They will give you experiences. Or deja vu. You walk into a room and you feel as if you've been there before. You have. Your soul has been there before. So reincarnation is deep, and I just wanted to give you that little tidbit and also share this book with you. If anybody wants this book, just email me. We'll do it through pay PayPal. It's free. Just pay for the shipping, okay? But this book is going to talk a lot about reincarnation. It's going to talk about your soul plan. It's going to talk about you reincarnating into a family and why you did it, right? So much to talk about reincarnation. But it's just the soul coming back over and over again to learn lessons. And once you get the opportunity to get out of here, this is the time on the planet to get out of here. Get on your soul path so you never have to reincarnate again, okay? It's open. The gates have opened. All right. I love you guys. Take care.
Where's the thing? I can't find it. There it is. <laughs>